New for you now at five. We have movement to share with you in the case surrounding the I-70 serial killer. Six homicides from April and May of 1992 remain unsolved today in five cities, including Terre Haute. All the crimes were committed right off of Interstate 70. Police believe there's one person responsible for all the murders. Earlier this week, over the course of two days, investigators from police departments representing Indianapolis, Wichita, St. Charles, Raytown, and Terre Haute met in St. Charles, Missouri. Agents from the ATF and FBI were also there. They discussed each of the open homicides in detail. They reviewed evidence and they talked about how advances in forensic technology can help them bring this case to a close. Zeroing in on the Terre Haute case, that's the killing of Michael McCowan. He was murdered in April of 1992. McCowan was shot in his family's ceramic store on South 3rd Street. Investigators are looking for a white male. What you're seeing right here is a composite of what this man looked like at the time of the murders. He was in his 20s. Then you'll notice the rendering of what this man could look like today in his 40s. Police say he's 5'6 to 5'7, weighs anywhere between 140 to 160 pounds, and has sandy blonde hair with a red tint. Another important piece of information surrounding the weapon used to kill the victims, police say it was a unique firearm, likely one of the firearms pictured here. Police want the public's help in solving these cases. You can be anonymous. There are two ways to share information. One, you can call 1-800-800-3510. And two, there's also a website. We have a link to that web address for you over on our website at WTHITV.com. The reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the I-70 killer now stands at $25,000.